All right, Chandler, you ready to fly a drone? Absolutely. All right. There... Hello, YouTube. I am back at Skalski Field with my friend Chandler, who's interested in learning how to fly the DJI Aveda drone, which is an FPV drone where he'll be utilizing these goggles on his head to see what the drone sees and to help him navigate the sky. To help me with the teaching of this skill, I'm gonna use the scouting method of teaching, the EDGE method. Fellow Eagle Scout here, and EDGE stands for? Explain, demonstrate, guide, enable. Excellent, and so I'm actually gonna explain and demonstrate a few things at the same time. First and foremost, the controller that we're gonna be using. So this is the motion controller, right? And this is your acceleration trigger. You slowly squeeze it in to slowly go fast. Jam it in to go fast. The goal today is just get you airborne and enjoy what it's like to fly. Okay, so that trigger is forward acceleration. Forward acceleration. There is no backwards on this, on the motion controller. The motion controller one, if you will. All right, so acceleration. To stop, all you gotta do is let go. Release, okay. All right, release your trigger. All right, so why don't you go ahead and try that real quick. Okay. Forward, stop. Exactly, perfect. Now think of this motion controller as a wireless mouse pointer that will connect to the drone and the goggles. Inside the goggles is your monitor. Your mouse pointer will look like a white circle. Okay. All right. And so this is a mouse pointer for that white circle. It's your white circle pointer in this case. Okay. So and this... wherever you point this and then you squeeze the trigger, the drone will fly to that white circle. How do you think you can make mouse pointer go up? Point it. Just point it up. So correct me if I'm wrong, Jason. If the drone were sitting right on top of this, if I tilt it to the side, that's what's controlling it. Good thought, yeah. So that's the that's how you control the drone. What does twisting do? Nothing. Okay, okay. Yep. So to go up, it would be this way. To go down, I would point it down. Correct? Exactly. Okay. You'll so, literally see what I'm talking about here in just a moment. Okay, so the goggles in that case, that's just my field of view. What you see in the goggles is what this camera here will see. It's able to look to the side and then fly this way? With it? Yes, it is. Okay. In fact, that's head tracking. Um, once we get a feel for just doing it this way, I'm gonna put you right into head tracking. It's a game changer. Why don't we get airborne here? I like to turn the controller on first. Short press, long press, to go. Goggles, short press, long press. And then the drone. I do it in this order because if for some reason it wants to take off and fly away, you might have control if on a fly away. Right now, there is a lens protector on there. Always leave that on when you don't have it on your face. Okay. All right. So you got your lanyard on here. I do. This will go into the phone. Now, just to preface this, everybody, I have never flown a drone before in my life, so this is completely new to me. I feel like RoboCop with all this tech on me. You could let that dangle. Okay. Right. Go ahead, put your goggles on. Your face, is that comfortable on your head? Feels about right. Right here, right there, you feel that knob? Yep. Go ahead, grab it with your thumb. Close your left eye and move it left and right till it's clear, and then use the, use the uh, knob to focus in a little bit more. We're gonna do that with the left eye as well. Okay, that's good right there. Okay, I'm gonna lock it into place for you. So the way you do that is I push back up and rotate. Now I'll unlock the other side. Do the same thing with your right hand. All right, so everything is clear. Yes, sir. All right, what do you see right now? I'm um, looking at a cornfield, I believe in this, somewhere in that direction. How about now? Now I'm looking right at the camera. Okay, now I'm looking at me. <laughs> it's not actually recording the camera yet, but let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna hit record on the camera, put this in your hand here. Get a feel for where the trigger is. Okay, that's right. the trigger. I'm gonna use the phone so I can see what you see as well. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Start the motors. Okay. Motors are starting and I'll launch you. I'm gonna hold that down to take off. Do you see a white circle yet? Yes. Okay, so the white circle is your mouse pointer. So let's just practice moving that white circle around the screen first. So point up. Good. So that should be right in the center, right? Yes, point it down with your mouse pointer. Turn left by banking your hand left. Good, and right. Slide a little faster of a rotation. So left turn. Right turn. All right. Those are your controls of moving that mouse pointer around the screen or wherever you move it to, yeah? Because it's going to stay stationary in the, in the middle. Go ahead, squeeze the trigger slowly, and you're going to fly towards the cornfield. Good job, you're flying. Now bank it left to go down to the left of the runway. All right, now fly down the runway. All right, let's go left and bring it back around. This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. Now you can fly it towards us. Point it up. Now squeeze the trigger again, but not at my head. <laughs> Done that once before. Point it up a little higher. <laughs> there. All right, so now it's looking up, right? Yep. If you squeeze the trigger, it'll fly in that direction. 
So the way I teach this also is I'm looking at the screen here, obviously, right? And if I feel that I'm getting scared, I don't like where you're flying, I'm just gonna press this brake button and he braked. Okay. All right, he stopped. So I'll ask a question of the student if he's okay. You okay? Yeah. All right, I'll release the brake and you can fly around again. It's almost like the like the brake pedal on the driver's head car on the passenger side. Kinda, yeah. Wow, this is fun. Now, when you get to the edge of that runway, go ahead and jam on that trigger. So 16, 17, 18 miles per hour, 18 miles per hour. So cool being able to hear it above you. Now go ahead and bank it left while maintaining that speed. Now serpentine, left and right. Nice. I find it a little easier to fly the, the faster it's going. Wow, that's cool, it just stops on a dime. Yeah, you just let go of the trigger, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ground control to major town. <laughs> <laughs> A little close to the iPad, so it's between the iPad and us. Okay. So forward. And fly directly towards me. And up. Hold. Right there. Now to go straight up, right, you could actually take that what mouse pointer and point it straight up like this. Slide up. Yeah. All right, there you go, flying straight up. Now what's cool about this airfield here, we've got the airspace clearance all the way to 400 feet above ground level. Okay, Jason, now on my HUD, where would it say that? The bottom left corner under the H? The number to the right of the H, we are at 125 feet. That's okay. what it's registering. Based on us starting here at ground level, calling that zero. Now, okay. if we had started on top of that building, it would record that to be the zero. The D refers to the distance away from us. Now, uh, what's the what's the range I can fly on this? Like, can I fly over there to that corner I'm looking at right now in the field? I guess we could find out, right? Go for it. Yeah, why not? We'll just walk out there if it crashes, right? Yeah. Recognize that there is a radio signal from the motion controller to the drone, and then from the drone video feed to your goggle. And so it's sending radio signals back and forth. So it's all about radio signal interference. So if we were, if there's a bunch of trees between us and that, you would get some static and a poor signal. Oh, there's a deer. Did you see that deer? No way. You yeah. got it? Yeah, there's a deer. There's a buck too. We are all the way over there by that. So right now it says 901 feet away. Figure out what's going on in this patch right there. I'm gonna find another deer for for your followers. If you see it start to fixate, then climb so that your radio signal gets better. Wow, look at that! Track. That's cool. It's amazing. Uh, how far away are we right now? On the bottom left, D, 790 feet. Okay, wow, and I can still hear it pretty clearly, that's cool. Now I noticed the axis a second ago, the, the big X going through the entire screen, it seems as if when the wind gusts, it tilts a little bit. Is that an indication of the angle of the drone itself? Yes. Okay. Yep. Let's see if I whip it around. That's cool. So I noticed when my, I turned my head. Yes, we're not, we haven't turned on head tracking yet. Okay, I, know, I, I, was, I was just checking. You ready to try that? Uh, yeah, let me see if I can land it. When you get to where you want to land, you'll point the uh, drone down. I'll try to set it down right next to you. Okay. Just so you can make sure there's nothing below you. When you're ready to land, squeeze the trigger easy. And then it'll get to a point where right there, hold it. Now what I'll do is I'll press and hold the lock button to force the landing, and that's that. So you wanna try head tracking? Sure. On the right hand side here, there's a touch pad. So swipe down to pull up the menu. I'm going to then swipe forward to the head tracking function. So I'll tap that. Now that it's yellow, it is now head tracking mode. All right, so swipe up to get out of that function there. So to take off, I'm gonna actually take your right thumb, put it on that red button. That's double press it to start the motors. If you were to double press it while you're flying, the motors would stop and it would come crashing to the ground. Press and hold that lock button and it will launch. Press and hold the red button. Correct. Head tracking is now on. Look left, look right. Whoa. Okay. Now look up. Look down. The X is what you're looking at. The white circle is your mouse pointer. So now you have full range, if you will, of where that thing can actually go to. Go ahead, fly down the, the runway. Remember, it's gonna go to the white circle. Point the white circle up. 
All right, and then turn it around. Bring it back around and then just try to look left and right while you're flying. Low oh, battery. Low battery. So it wants to return to home. Okay. So I'm gonna set, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel that function. All right. And then I want you to fly it back on your own. Okay. So, a am I landing it? Yeah, you can land it as well. So bring it back here. And I'll change out batteries for you. And I double yeah. click that red button to nope. land it. Nope. If you double click it, the motors will shut off right there. Okay. So you hold it down just like we did take off. Hold that red button down, release. Now press it and hold it. Cool. All right, there you go. All right, Chandler, so what do you think? Your first flight, your first time flying an FPV drone. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And thank you, Jason, for your wonderful instruction. I'm not very technologically inclined. Like I said, I've never flown a drone, never flown RC planes before. And that was a lot of fun. And it seems once you get the hang of it, pretty uh, pretty easy to do. So thank you, Jason. You're very welcome. My pleasure, Chandler. You want to fly again? Absolutely. All right, let's do this. I'll go get another battery. And yeah, we'll get you back airborne. That was crazy.